What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, specifically in today's video, we have to talk about the recent bottom that we kind of hit within most of the major cryptocurrencies. Um, this was really what I believe was influenced by the S&P 500. As you guys can see yesterday, the S&P 500 pretty much nosedived after the past couple of days to uh, oversold levels on its relative strength indicator on the daily charts here. And this indicator a bottom support here. Now, we don't know if this is the bottom yet. Uh, you know, we'd all like to believe and have hope that this is the bottom and we're not going to be breaking much lower than that. As you guys can see in the past year, we have on numerous occasions, honestly, since June of 2021 here, but more so in February and March of 2022, that this is the bottom support on the purple band here that I have drawn. And you can see how we're having a lot of uh, reaction to this level here. Friday, we closed below this support, which was uh, very worrisome for me and a lot of people within cryptocurrency because this could have implied that we would have continued the drop which would have you know allowed us to pull all the way down 17 percent uh from all-time highs within the s p 500 ultimately uh you know signifying that cryptocurrency would also see major drops in the price here but what we've managed to do is because we've retested oversold because we're starting to see the correction open you can see today is currently at 9 34 uh, a.m the time that i'm recording this the s p is currently open here we're starting to correct up higher which is uh exciting to me we're not out of the waters yet because we're so close to the support here. But it implies that, you know, maybe cryptocurrency has also seen a bottom support. We do know, and we have talked about this in the past here, that XRP specifically has managed to pull down to its bottom at 59 cents here. Currently trading at 61 cents. We are for sure at the bottom. We retested 59 cents. We managed to actually pull lower than that. Um, but we are holding strong. It's been about three days now. Today's the third day where we've managed to consolidate up from here. Uh, becoming extremely oversold, we've managed to correct up higher, which is definitely some good news. But you can see here in the past, the last time we retested this, there was tons of sideways consolidation. So just because we're correcting out from here doesn't necessarily mean we're going to rally up. Ideally, that's what we're looking for, but we don't know if that's going to come uh, immediately. The last time we were at this level here, you can see in the past here, we were just as oversold when we started uh, as we were three or four days ago. And it ultimately led us in for almost a week and a half of the sideways consolidation, which is where we currently are, followed by a break. So we're looking for mainly the same thing, maybe some consolidation followed by a break to the upside here. That's the best scenario that we have planned, uh, which could, you know, exit into a bullish breakout and switching to a long position here. But we really have to see how we react to this bottom support, because the longer we hang out here, the worse it is. And we have to really cover ourselves and not buy in for a long position just yet and jump the gun, because it's very possible we could see a dump and a reversal here. So that's really what we're going to spend most of today talking about within XRP, within Ethereum, within Bitcoin here. Um, but with that being said, guys, today's video is brought to you by uh, CryptoBots. As you guys know, CryptoBots has been a previous sponsor here on the channel. CryptoBots is actually an interesting uh, game that they created. You can see here it's a play to earn game that merges two genres, a collectible RPG and space grand strategy. CryptoBots dev team is focused on two main things, sustainable play to earn economy and addictive gameplay mechanics. What's even cooler is uh, this isn't the first time crypto bots has come to the market this is the second time the first time was proven extremely successful with their classic collection here which if you guys can see on OpenSea, actually has an extra there's a lot of value behind this they have a trade a price floor of 0.14 they've traded a 1.4k volume with 2.3k owners it's actually pretty cool to see a uh you know a game and a concept and a project actually do uh pretty well and do what it's you know meant to do which is really cool but more information about their classic collection as well as their current new collection and game will be at the end of today's video so stay tuned for that as there will be more information i've also linked them down in the description if you'd like to check them out earlier and with that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm turn on post notifications subscribe and let's dive into today's episode so guys first and foremost checking out the uh current coin market cap we're trading at 1.74 trillion down 0.11 obviously the overall week has been terrible down 4 to 12 percent depending on the cryptocurrency that you look at but um in regards to the 24 hour movements today and yesterday not really seeing much we've been pretty much consolidating which is expected it's anticipated and i believe it's going to continue um you can really see this is the base reference i don't even know where to start i mean we look at the s p we look at other cryptos mainly what you have to understand is the past couple of days tracking crypto we have entered extreme fear and we haven't entered extreme fear since the last drop back in January of 2022 here when uh, the Fed said that they were going to increase rates and it pretty much tanked 
cryptocurrency and it tanked the S&P 500. Now that we hit a bottom here, you can see just like we are now, we're kind of consolidating out and we need to let this play out. If I jump to the weekly charts here on XRP, you can kind of see what exactly is going on. You can see we're rebounding very nicely off this bottom support, but I understand the last time we retested this, it was over a week of consolidation before we started to lift off. So really, um, everything kind of comes down to how this week is going to play out within not only the S&P 500, but within XRP specifically. This is pretty much uh, the last end before we see some sort of a movement here. And I think it's gonna be a lot of volume. Either we're going to obviously break below support here, which is why the end of this week comes Sunday night. Sunday night is gonna be so important for uh, cryptocurrency and the way the S&P 500 moves. Um, but you can see if Sunday night closes this weekly candle below support here, which notice, and I want you guys to take notice, we have not been able to, since November 23rd, 2020, almost two years, uh, we really have not been able to break below or above here. You can see we have had resistance, a little bit of uncertainty here, but con you know, confirmed resistance here, prices got rejected, corrected. You can see here in July of 2021, prices retested and broke bullish. And then in uh, January of 2022, prices retested and broke bullish here. We're looking for a similar scenario to play out right now. So if we can confirm, you can see really we needed this week to, uh, or the, this week specifically that I'm circling, needed to play out before we confirmed a breakout here. That's kind of the same scenario we're dealing with now. If we close, this week, Sunday night, we close where we currently are, if not higher at 64 cents, wherever that's confirming potentially switching to a bullish position with expectations of prices swinging to 71 to 86 cents here. However, if we see Sunday night close us below and we close below support and we close below 58, 59 cents here, it's pretty much uh, inferring that we're going to see a breakdown and a correction uh, followed by continued drops to the downside here. Now we're pretty low on the weekly charts. We can obviously head lower, but in regards to the daily, we are pretty much near oversold. So there's not much more room we could head lower from here. So if we continue to scale out, we trade sideways, move here until Sunday, which is in a few days, it's only Tuesday. Um, it would pretty much give us an opportunity and time to be buying in, whether for a short or a long position. So the trades on Patreon, and for those that don't know, Patreon is where we trade all of our cryptocurrencies, buy long, sell short, everything, talk about cryptocurrencies we don't typically talk about here on the channel, as well as the S&P 500. Basically, if you're hungry for more info, Patreon is where it is. Um, you, we're going to be a little sidelined until we get some sort of general direction before we make another trade. So just uh, you know keep that in mind. Um, and obviously, we do that all on BitYard uh, to leverage trade cryptocurrencies. That's where I like to trade cryptos. Obviously, you can use any exchange. That's your preference. I just personally like BitYard, uh, which is super cool. So definitely make sure to check uh, BitYard out too. Link in the description. The cool thing about BitYard is they offer a demo account. If you click demo, they give you $100,000 in Monopoly money to basically trade around and test your skills. So you don't have to actually use real cryptocurrency. You can test yourself first with fake money to learn the markets, to learn if you're you know, maybe suitable for this or not suitable for this, or if you're good. And then when you're ready, you can obviously switch to real crypto. The cool thing about BitYard 2 is once you do decide to sign up, you can then click mystery box up here and get free cryptocurrency just by signing up with the link in the description. So definitely make sure to check out BitYard 2. So besides XRP, looking at these other cryptos, Ethereum and Bitcoin are both in what appears to be a descending fractal here. I'm going to scale out uh, Bit. Bitcoin a little bit more. Unfortunately, I feel like it's going to look something like this. It actually plays out really well. Um, and basically, we're in this descending fractal, just like Ethereum here. They both have bullish biases. I mean, you can type in, I believe it's a bull flag pattern typically yeah bull flag patterns typically have a bullish run. You can see clear as day here. What ends up happening is, is we pump up, consolidate sideways downwards trend and then break bullish the same size that we shot up from. So looking at Ethereum here, you can see it's the same thing. We, uh, you know, we had a run to the upside. Ethereum had a run to the upside, followed by a bull flag, followed by a bull flag, or sorry, where is it? Ethereum is a bull flag, a bearish descending fractal. Then we're looking for a bullish break. So they do have a bullish bias here, and we're looking to see how this plays out. Obviously, Ethereum is very close to being oversold on its uh, daily charts with Bitcoin as well very close to being oversold on its daily charts here. We're waiting for the break. We're waiting for that breaking point here before we buy in long for these cryptos and everything I feel like is uh, dedicated to the way the S&P trades. So 
if the S&P continues to get rejected from this resistance here, uh, which is currently resistance, it was a support, there's a good chance it's going to continue to stagnate and fall lower. There's lots of uncertainty here. You can see how it's trading. But if we manage to break back inside of this and start trending in here, if not break through it, that would ultimately imply Bitcoin would see a break above, and it will at some point. It, but it either means we're going to continue to scale lower and then see the break or we're going to break now. Um, it is going to allow us to get the general bullish run, which would honestly swing us probably up to like 50K again. But it all depends on the S&P. If the S&P can, you know, hold this, break through and then swing up, obviously crypto, Bitcoin is going to do the same thing. XRP would see it swing to the upside here. Ethereum also would be breaking bullish outside of here, seeing a swing up to like 3683. There's a lot of uncertainties right now. There's a lot of variables. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys that uh, we're not really uh, confused in any sense. There's a lot of beautiful technical indicators playing out here. A bottom on XRP, oversold on XRP, inside a major descending triangle on the weekly uh, over a year of consolidation typically implies at the end of this Elliott wave, a bullish run. Um, but we're at bottom support. So it's it's going to be either or, guys. We're going to see either a massive run to the upside or we're going to see a massive dump if we confirm breaking below that support here. Ethereum as well is ready for a big run, but it also could be ready for more consolidation and downtrend. Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin as well is ready for a big run, but could also see you know more consolidation. So I'm more bullish now than I am uh, bearish here. Uh, same thing with the S&P 500. You know, if we continue to scale up, I mean, you might even be able to see some sort of uh, familiar like downtrend here. It's definitely a possibility. There's some sort of downtrend here. Let's see if we could draw this out. I mean, the top resistance is definitely a little bit harder here, but there is some sort of like descending fractal here that's forming clear resistance at the top, clear support at the bottom here. And hopefully we can gain the support to break through this and start to trend up. And if that does, then we'll see a bullish rally come with all these cryptos. But that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. We're just going to wait for a confirmation in the direction to buy back in. But until then, it's we're going to sit and we're going to you know sit patiently. Otherwise, do you want to talk more about crypto bots with you? I want to give a huge shout out to CryptoBots for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency projects, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, CryptoBots is an RPG mobile game focused on building a truly sustainable and very rich in-game economy with NFTs of CryptoBots. Now, the CryptoBots NFT collection was first launched back in 2017 and is among 25 of the very first collections of NFTs ever. Now, it is also one of the first collections trading on OpenSea, and the original game itself is the first ever play-to-earn game, though it was not called play-to-earn at the time. Now, CryptoBots offers players the ability to collect and trade unique collectible bots on the Ethereum blockchain, and the original collection of CryptoBots are now renamed to Classic CryptoBots and are made totally decentralized. Now, the original game was suspended in 2019 and is now built as a much bigger world around CryptoBots and the economy. Now, the team behind CryptoBots is also very experienced, and the game is supported by the PlayNet Game Studio that has been making mobile games since 2015. Now, the CryptoBots economy is designed to foster utilizing NFTs for gameplay as well as holding rather than simply trading them. And the approach allows the game mechanics to be the primary driver of the user engagement. Now, a great variety of NFT types ensures enormous possibilities for economic expansion. And the NFTs come in forms like bots, ships, lands, planets, licenses, and even consumables. Now, all of them are tied to a game mechanic, making them an integral part of the game. And the economy design is built to significantly incentivize gameplay and item utilization in game. Now, Bits is the main governance token according to the game book and also the main in-game trading vehicle. And it is a limited quantity token that can be acquired for performing in-game activities or as payment for goods. Now the token is set to be used in in-game player driven DAOs and as a requirement to participate in the end game content. Now the token is utilized in P2P trading, in-game rewards for leaderboards and staking. And at this point, almost 90% of all bots are staked now. And the team is also claiming that they will only have 3000 players on testnet in April and will give away a hundred Ethereum and NFT. Tees. Now to get the testnet, there will be three options. First, you register for the testnet whitelist and wait for its launch. And also prior to the launch, there will be a raffle in which a thousand players will get their whitelist to enter the game. Now the second will be that there are a thousand free guaranteed slots for active supporters. And the third option
option is to get on one of those 1,000 guaranteed slots, and then if you own a team of Genesis CryptoBots prior to the game launch, you can then get rewarded. Now, there will also still be a few available left on OpenSea, so you can check that out as well. And lastly, the team is planning to launch a 3D metaverse-ready avatar, so that will be some exciting news later down the road. So guys, for more information about CryptoBots or to join their testnet, make sure to check out the links in the description of today's video. Otherwise, huge shout out to CryptoBots for sponsoring today's episode. As always, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.